Ladies and gentlemen, Piers Corbyn. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Well, it's Speaker's Corner, the 21st of April, and it's almost a nice day, but it's showery like all Aprils, as we predicted. Mixed bag to the rest of the month. Okay. So I'm Piers Corbyn. I'm the Peace Now candidate in the mayor election. And you've got some leaflets we're giving out here. And I want to update you on what is going on with the Greater London uh, election setup. Because they say that I'm still banned. However, we've got a court case in the High Court, and the High Court have accepted as a matter of urgency. So we might get a decision out of them tomorrow. A point we've got to understand is that Mary Hartley on a salary of £205,000 a year is the Greater London Returning Officer and also the Chief Executive of the Greater London Authority and also the Chief Executive to implement Sadiq Khan's plan. So, wages got to do. so it may be, it may be that we don't have a free and fair system. I'm sure she's highly competent at everything she does, but let's be clear, there is a conflict of interest in her role. And it may be the High Court will recognise it. In order to stand, you have to pass two hurdles. One is getting all the signatures, 330, I did that, they don't argue. The other is money, £10,000. They don't argue that was deposited. But they're arguing about timing, very weird a microscopic little legal argument and I show in my deposition in the High Court that what they have is an administrative convenience which actually is unworkable rigorously so they apply it flexibly. Flexible. Without going into the details that means that some people are not excluded and some people are and I'm excluded. So I'm calling on the High Court to tell the GLA that I have to be reinstated. Let's see what happens. Now, if they don't do that, we will press on anyway with a campaign to spoil your ballot, to spoil Sadiq Khan. So we're going to get hundreds of thousands to go into the polling booth and right across it, free and fair, peers for mayor, whatever. That's what we have to do. Because we cannot tolerate the imposition of these mega corporation, mega councils anymore. The GLA should be basically devolved powers back to the boroughs and the mayor, as it is, shouldn't exist. So I would be campaigning in order to end my mayorship in four years. That's what I would do. So think about that. That is the way forward. And please take a leaflet and give some money in the box. There we are. I'm not ending yet, though. A lot of people, so let's have a chance on that. Free and fair peers for men. Free and fair peers for men. Free and fair peers for men. Okay. Now a lot of people are asking me when I'm in there, what will we actually do? Because I am the only candidate, apart from there's a lot of vanity candidates who've got nothing to say other than that they're great people. Look, I don't care if I'm a great person or not. I'm only standing in order to achieve things. I'm not standing to be a politician. In fact, I'm an anti-politician. Let us be clear. I'm an anti-politician. I only act in these things to achieve results. So, the first thing we'll do to achieve peace is we would be taxing those, all those who, who profit from war. All of them, all of those, would impose some tax by a licensing system. We would disinvest every Great London Authority investment, every GLA investment involving uh, any of the uh, warmonger companies, any of those profiting from war. All the arms companies, we would disinvest them. Just like XR say disinvest in oil companies and go to universities to make a disinvest. We say disinvest in all the arms industry. That would see the back of them. Think about that. They're on the stock exchange. We want to attack, attack, attack all the war industry. It's realistic and practical. There are many other things we could do, but let's be clear. We will win on this. People understand. 75% of the British population want to end all these wars, but the government pays for them. 
they tax them. And all the other candidates are pro-war, all of them. Or else they're doing nothing practical. So other things I would do, because people do ask, I would abolish the ultra low emission zone and take down all the ULES cameras. Yes, thank you very much. I needn't say it deserves a round of applause. And I would also block, block the paper mile and review the congestion the zone. And everyone the who's been paid had to pay a ULES fine, they'd be refunded. Now you might say, quick round of applause for that, I can ask you to do that. How will this be paid for? Well, there's a lot of ways, but one is, because of all the empty properties in London, we would pay, charge swinging rates on all empty properties. And we'd set up an empty, a fully empty strategy forum with all the boroughs. What are you doing to fill up those empty properties? Offices as well as flats. It can be done, swinging taxes upon them, swinging rates, and those properties will be filled up. And that one would generate huge funds to pay for the, the loss of income from ULEZ. Sadiq Khan imposed ULEZ only, well, to harass us, yes, but he wanted the money to offset losses in in, uh, in, the, uh, in the tube system. Because he's bringing in all sorts of vanity projects he wants to pay for. I don't want any vanity projects in the tube. I want practical projects, practical projects. For example, we want a genuine anti-pollution measures strategy. We'll clean up the mega dust in the, in the tubes. Um, and uh, we'd have other things to do. We'd reduce the noise on the tubes and in the streets. We'd have an anti-noise campaign in London. London is one of the noisiest cities in the world. We'd have more buses in outer London. They've been cut there by about 8%. That is ridiculous. People in outer London need buses. And at the same time, they're told they're not allowed to drive into London because they're charged ULES. And, well, the Tories say they won't extend ULES to outer London, but they want to keep the cameras. What are the cameras for? We say, take down the cameras. And another thing we would do on this anti-pollution measures uh, committee we'll set up is we will have a risk assessment of all the electromagnetic radiation around. That is the cameras, these new lightings, lots of things. There's very dangerous stuff going on and there's no risk assessment. And we will close down and take down anything which is dangerous. So you want to decrease the light in the city and the surveillance? Yeah, we want to get rid of the surveillance completely. So how will you crack down on crime? Without light at night and without you've got, cameras? You've got a, a mobile phone, if you use it for crime, phone it and send it to a website which we would put up. London is a big city, people can't be everywhere at once. What if someone's in an alleyway? Can, well, the, of it, the cameras don't it. reach alleyways either, do they? What do you mean? If you have cameras around the city, you can crack down on crime. Well, by taking out the lights and taking out the surveillance, we review every, every camera. We review every camera. Those ones sitting on the road are not there to combat crime. And another thing we want to do, as the mayor, I'd have massive powers over planning. The mayor of London can call in any planning application, and he doesn't. He's allowing these mega developments to go on. Every major community in London is now being raped and destroyed. I was in Lewisham yesterday and the whole, the beautiful market area, that's going to be destroyed. Finchley Road, the same thing. Every community in London is being destroyed. And I would call in all of those plannings, all of those plannings to stop these things. Defend living London. Defend living London. Vote for me as mayor. Here's for mayor. Yes, okay. Well, we could end just about on that, but we repeat again that if I'm blocked, we will have a campaign anyway. We cannot afford to give up in the fight against tyranny. Let's be clear. There's no giving up. We will press on. So, let's say. Peace now! Peace now! Peace now! Peace now! Free and fair, peace for men! Free and fair, peace for men! Free and fair, peace for men! Okay, thank you very much! Peace, Corbyn, everyone! Thank you, thank you.
Um, Shima, do you want to speak? Do you want to say anything? There's another candidate here. Do you want to say something? If you're in the mood. In the mood? Yeah, yeah. I think I have a coffee stuff. No, people have got. You got something to say? This is. He's also a candidate that's been banned. You see. Just say a few words so these people know what's going on. Hi everybody. I was running for mayor. Took me out. Uh, a couple of reasons why. One traction. I posted a big post and it's gotten to about four million uh, viewers now. C40. If anybody knows. 15 minutes city control. And um, speak up. Speak up. I was shouting. The speaker's called up. <laughs> so you speak up because he can't hear you on this. Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me now? Oh, louder. 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 <laughs> and so I've been taken out of the race. Well, taken out, not literally. Taken out of the race. And uh, and like him, I'm possibly going to do the same thing. Judicial review. I think the system is fully corrupt. It has been for a long, long time. You've got a CEO who looks after Khan. She looks after the GLA as well. It's a conflict of interest. You've got a system that is shoddy, old. For us, we had seven days. He's lucky he got his numbers. I didn't get my numbers. <laughs> oh, you didn't get your numbers. Well, well how can you? Yeah. How can you when, you, when they send you corrupt systems that don't open up? <laughs> that things are not right because I've built a lot of traction behind the scenes I've been taken out when you're a threat they don't like you and all I wanted to do was to speak for the public being what with this, the public what did this post say that had 4 billion views uh, it's on C40 15 minute cities and what was you saying about it well I've said a lot about it it is that it is your no, fault no, no but yeah no but what did you say online to you? I said, I said that I said that they're going to control you, put you into your 15-minute cities by giving you uh, all. They're going to control yourselves, you, everyone, and that is you won't be able to drive a petrol or diesel car. You won't be able to eat the food you want. You'll be given calorie-controlled diets. It's like a movie. It's a joke. You know, sustainable foods. Uh, you won't be able to eat those foods. You're going to be getting those genetically modified meats that they're creating out of human flesh. It's a joke. Do you really want this? Is this what everybody wants? Yeah. And this is being done <laughs> from the mayor's office. He's the chair in London. And being the chair in London, he can do what he likes. There's no transparency. What can we do to stop this? Vote for me. Get me in. I've been taken out. He's been taken out. We can't vote for you then, can we? Sorry? We can't vote for you. You've been taken out. Well, you can't vote for either of us. Because that's how it is. advertise these leaflets. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, people, support. We haven't got your name. What's your name? Carrying on. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. To end people, look. We need campaign groups in every borough. We do have some, but please take one of the leaflets. Think about what you're going to do in the next 11 days. Go to a tube station, get a megaphone, say, peers for mayor. Free and fair, peers for mayor. Whatever. I might be on the ballot, I might not. But whatever, there's going to be stuff to do. And please, take bundles of leaflets to your area. There's some in the bag here. Um, and I think now we will have a little song from Nicholas. All right. Oh, hold it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hope you on the same level. Oh, let's move that out of the way. Who's this? This song. All right, quick song here. Go on it. Go. Um. Yeah. This song's a winner. Pass these around. Sam, you hold them around. Pass them around. Red hat, please. Pass them around. People want bundles. Okay. Good song.
You'll, you'll find in this world today the war mongers lead the way but you now have a different choice it's Piers Corbyn the people's voice peace now is his policy and you can be part of history so don't miss the vote give Piers your vote Piers for mayor to end this situation dire he'll push towards a full ceasefire he'll tax those who profit from armed conflict those who don't pay will be nicked. This he will do for a start, but you must also do your part. So don't miss the boat, give Piers your vote. Piers for Mayor. Thank you very much. Brilliant. All right.